Hi, I'm Pat Lawner for SDNN here at the Old Globe Shakespeare Festival stage. Actually sitting in a boat on the Shakespeare Festival stage. This is the sixth annual renewed, refurbished, revitalized Shakespeare Festival. I'm here with the resident artistic director of the Old Globe, Darko Treshnik, who will be directing two of this summer's plays. And the three plays are Twelfth Night, Coriolanus, and for the first time, a non-Shakespearean play, Edmund Rostand's Cyrano de Bergerac. And so we've got a comedy, a tragedy, and a swashbuckling romance. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's talk about why, first of all, why you decided to do a non-Shakespearean play this time. Well, I think we've been thinking about it for a while. Um, it's, I think, gives variety to our classical portion of our season. and. Uh, we were looking for the right title, and we also felt that it would be wonderful, you know, for not just for our audience, but for the actors um, in the rep company to stretch themselves in a different way. And uh, we couldn't think of a more perfect title than Cyrano, um, partially because it's a great play. Frankly, it's a popular title. If we're going to do a non-Shakespeare title, that's the one to start with. Um, but the other thing is, you know, in our outdoor stage, you have to do the kind of material that's going to open up in an outdoor setting, right. and Cyrano opens up beautifully. Um, it's just a beautiful, I think, balanced program for our audiences. I think, you know, for people uh, who enjoy costume, their costume dramas down to the hilt, their Cyrano, you know, I think I love what Paul is doing with one of Shakespeare's most popular That's plays, Paul Twelfth Mullins, Night, the director. who's setting it in the 1950s. In fact, uh, we're sitting in a boat that was designed for that production. And then Coriolanus is, um, Shakespeare's um, farewell to tragedy. It's his last tragedy and it's, uh, I have to say, it's one of the most rewarding plays that I've ever directed. Wow, that's and, saying uh, a lot. I, that's I, saying I, I a lot. Love, I love that, this play and it's his most overtly political play. It's a, it's a timely and timeless play. Something so, for everyone. And so, oh, uh, how are you setting Coriolanus? Coriolanus is set between the First and the Second World War. Um, Coriolanus, it's interesting, but on in, you know, on the European continent, in France and Germany, um, between the two world wars, it was Shakespeare's most popular play. And uh, uh, theaters were closed because of the play. There were riots every night in some of the theaters when the play was performed. The play was appropriated by the communists. The play was appropriated by the Nazis. Uh, so, because um, you can sort of, depending on how you see the play, it goes across the political spectrum. And how about you uh, tell me about your Cyrano? Cyrano is, uh, you know, we're setting it uh, in, you know, from 1640 to 1655 when the play was written and um, it's uh, written to be performed in and um, what I would say what you will see when you look at the, our stage is great paintings come to life, you know, so a lot of uh, a lot of research went into it uh, with Anna Oliver, who's an astonishing costume designer. So together, you know, we've composed a production that looks like great paintings come to life. You know, that audiences who come to see Coriolanus, you know, um, if they think about it, they will see many correlations to where we are today. After all, it's a play that, you know, talks very much about bad economy and war. And at the same time, it's a uh, it's a it's an exciting political thriller. So here we are on the festival stage, and we are on the set of Twelfth, Twelfth Night. Night. Very nautical. Mm -hmm. Yes, extremely, and you know, it's it's full of water imagery, and I think Paul and Ralph and Linda and all the designers they looked at images of uh, Mediterranean small towns, you know, along the uh, the waterfront. And, and you have a, a large ensemble. We have 26 actors, um, and uh, it's uh, uh, a lot of old faces, some wonderful new faces, um, so I'm very excited. Coriolanus, Twelfth Night, and Cyrano de Bergerac run in repertory through September. I'm Pat Lawner for SDNN.